Hello, everybody. P Brain here. Just have to respond to this uh, Wolfie 6020. He's been putting these videos up like this from his airplane. He's a pilot or something, and he keeps showing how the horizon is down. Should be up here, but it's down here. And he's pointing out, oh, look at this little curvature. And so I have a few things to say about that and a couple experiments and some photos and to refute this. All right. Uh, first, before I get started, I just want to say I was going to do a video on this over a year ago and never got around to it. I was talking to Wolfie on this video right here, and we were started talking about the horizon, how he says that the horizon drops in an airplane. So he referred me to one of his videos, and I went and watched it, and then I had this discussion where I basically tell him of this experiment I did that I'm going to show you here in a second, where I use a clear glass pot lid, which is concave and curved, and I slant it backwards, similar in orientation to an airplane windshield, to show that it distorts what you see through it, and that distortion causes the horizon to visually drop. So here we go. Okay, I use this lid to show that there's some distortion in the glass, right? And I'll show you from my car also. But this is a lid, and it's got the concave side facing me. It's slanted at an angle that would represent something like a windshield on an aircraft. It's a very oblique angle, more acute than that, pretty tight angle. You know, obviously they can't have stuff hitting the windshield, and they're curved. And so this lid represents just to show that a concave window or glass will lower the horizon like that. And you can also see that it's curved. You see that? Slight kind of curving. And it wouldn't look too dissimilar from his thing here with the slight, slight curve. If you put a straight up edge against that, it'll look curved a little bit, right? Now, there, of course, there are many reasons for that. Besides the windshield, there could be atmospheric stuff, you know, stuff that everybody's covered, whether it be some kind of refraction, possibly, or mirroring that takes place on the surface of the ground and on water, you see it a lot of times. Well, or it could be, you know, in perspective, right? The the ground ramps up to your eyes, and I've shown this in many of my videos, up to eye level. And so we have a 360 degree circular horizon, right? So if the ground ramps up to our eye level, it'd be like putting a hula hoop around your head at eye level. And if you look around you, you'll see nothing but a straight line, right? But if you lower the hula hoop a little bit, you'll start to see some curve. Well, if this horizon were actually lowered due to a truncating of the horizon, right? Because the, it hasn't ramped all the way up to your eye level and it got cut short for maybe mirroring or miraging or whatever. That could be. Another thing is the sun here is not quite above the horizon, it looks like. Either this is sunset or uh, sunrise. And maybe visibility's short as well. And, you know, if the circle can't be illuminated all the way out to your up to your eye height, then it would truncate it. And I don't think that that's what's going on here. What I think's going on is what I was just showing you with the windshield. This kind of stuff with the uh, windshield is causing a distortion. And I'm going to show you some pictures of some airplanes, too. Back to this. Let's go to here. Okay, here's a picture you can see over here. This is from an airplane. This is the side, I guess the side-ish window, maybe, side. And this is the front window windshield. Well, the horizon's up high here, and then... Boom, big dip down here. Clearly, uh, the windshield is causing that horizon to dip, right? Quite a bit. Let's go to next. Here is a few images. Here's an airplane. And as we look through right over here, you can see the wall get chopped up and distorted in the glass. Then we move here. We see a poor bird got hit here. But as we look through this glass up here, we see the distorted, um, I guess it's this thing being distorted like this. Very bad distortion. Here, also, we look at this building. We can see it totally drop lower and moved to the left, right? Another big distortion and curved. Here, if we look through this window, we can see this hallway here being cut down in half. Again, lowered and shifted and curved again. Here is my car window, and I put a... But this is a metal broomstick, and this is me with the door open. So this is uh, open air. I'm looking right at it through no glass right here, no glass here. But here's my windshield, and you can see that the, uh, the broom drops down. And there's a straight line across them. 
So clearly, even in a car, and now a car is not as slanted as much as the airplane window, and yet you get a nice drop in the horizon right there, right? So basically, that's it. Just wanted to cover that because he keeps putting up these videos and showing the horizon drop. Also, we have to believe his instrumentation is accurate. Who knows, right? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows if that's accurate? But like I said, even if it is accurate, we're looking through distorted glass that's dropping the horizon. So sorry, Wolfie, nice try, but you fail again. And the reason I'm doing this video at all is because he blocked me from his channel. So I can't have a discussion with him on his channel. So I have to do videos now and something I've wanted to do a long time ago, but never got around to it. But anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And here's a little video to take us on out of here. I so appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you later. Here we go.